Hey guys, Brian from Brian Boas here. A lot of people keeping boas are really concerned about the size of their boa and they have this expectation that it's either too big or too small for its age. One of the most common online questions I see. So today to help you guys in this area I'm going to show you some one-year-old examples of true red tail boas like this one as well as non red tail boas. We'll weigh them and see the size just so you can get some real world examples of appropriate size of a one-year-old captive boa constrictor. And I've done videos like this in the past. I recently did one looking at some two-year-old animals, both true red tails and non-red tails. So check that one out if you'd like. But I'm extending the series. This is, these are all one-year-old animals. They were all born here uh, approximately a year ago. I think a lot of people see lots of the pictures online on the social media and they see examples of boas that are either growing like way too big, way too fast, or they're growing way too slow and they get this misconception. But really it's not rocket science growing a boa at the appropriate rate. You want to have slow steady growth. You don't want to power feed but you don't want to starve and slow grow either. Uh, most of my baby boas are feeding anywhere from every 7 to 14 days for the first year and then typically I feed them about once every two weeks or so. Uh, until they're like sub-adult, young adult, you know, around four years old. And then once they hit four or five, sometimes I back off to about every three weeks. But it really depends on the boa. The boas should have slow, steady growth for their first, you know, four or five years. Typically, you want to see anywhere from six inches to about 18 inches a year. The uh, true red tails, like the Suriname in general, grow slower. So this guy is now a year old and he was born actually on June or July 14th of 2021. Today is August 23rd of 2022 so he's a little bit over a year and he's a good size for a one-year-old Suriname. He's maybe three feet long. He's put on probably I don't know about eight inches or so. You know definitely noticeably be bigger than he was as a baby but of course he's not like a huge animal. I've seen these videos with these boas they're supposedly are only a year old and they're like five feet long it's just it's just way too big. So again if as long as you're having slow steady growth and your animal has a good body form nice and muscular you're probably not over or under feeding. It's really not something to get you know too stressed out about. So I'm going to go ahead and weigh all these animals and I got my trusty little kitchen scale here in my weigh boat and so I'm going to go ahead I'm going to zero it out just takes a sec okay we're going to weigh it in um, grams so it's on grams okay it's zeroed out and he's going into the weigh boat see how big this guy is so he is 343 grams so a one-year-old Suriname 343 grams and I should add that this guy is from my Prometheus bloodline of Suriname red tails and they tend to grow faster than my other main bloodline so I'm going to show you examples of boas from both bloodlines now that we know this guy was 343 I'm going to grab my holdback female from last year from the same exact litter next up we have this female holdback uh, Prometheus bloodline Suriname. This is a litter mate from the male I just showed you. She feels a little chunkier actually in my hands than the male so we'll see if she's a little bigger. She actually just shed so she's looking really nice now. Just beautiful colors and they just look great after they shed. I really you know, want to get them out, take pictures. It's really the best time to photograph a boa is right after they shed. So let's put her on the scale here. I don't know if you can see. Okay, so she is 383 grams. So she's a little bit heavier than the male, about 10% or so, but a good weight for a one-year-old Suriname true red tail boa. Now I'm gonna weigh another holdback pair of Suriname true red tails born here last year, also about a year old. Although these guys, this pair was born on September 13th of 2021. So they're a little bit younger than the pair I just showed you, but almost a year old and you can see that there are this female is visibly smaller than the pair I just showed you and she's from my other main bloodline which I refer to as my peaches or, Prome or uh, Picasso bloodline but this female was actually a cross between that bloodline and an unrelated female that I got from Matthew Blackburn that was derived from a Fudo animal cross with a wild caught animal and this particular female I held back she just really had that Fudo look and the Fudo look is this really clean and you know nice symmetrical 
nicely shaped saddles. So she just reminded me of the Fudo. And actually, there is some Fudo in the other bloodline as well. And you know, I, I did videos on bloodlines before, but you know, Fudo worked with lots of different animals. So it's not likely that he just had one bloodline, but there was a certain look to the Fudo produced boas, which hopefully this female uh, show, you know, um, recapitulates. Okay, so let's get a weight on this girl. And I imagine she'll be quite a bit smaller or less heavy than the ones I just weighed. Yeah, she is 145 grams. So quite a bit smaller than the Prometheus pair that I just weighed. And the last true red tail for today's video, this is a male from the same litter as the female I just showed you. You can see he's considerably smaller than the original pair I showed you. And although he is about two months younger, I don't expect he's gonna make up the difference in the next two months. It probably will be more like six months to a year before he's the same size as that um, Prometheus pair I showed you. But let's get a weight on him, if he'll cooperate. Of course, they don't like being in a smooth container with nothing to grab on. Okay, so he is 142 grams, about the same size as his sister from the same litter. So quite a bit smaller than the first pair of Surinams, but nothing to be concerned about. You know, some bloodlines of Surinams just don't grow as fast. Some individual boas don't grow as fast. I've had boas from the same exact litter, full siblings, and one of them grows a lot faster than the other, even if you give them the same feeding schedule. So don't obsess about the size of your true red tails. They're probably doing just fine, as long as they're showing slow but steady growth and not regurgitating um, or looking obese or anything like that. So now we've seen the pair, two pairs of true red tails. I'm gonna get some non-red tail boas that are a year old and we'll give them away. The first type of non-red tail boa I'm gonna show you and weigh are these long tail or longicata boas. These animals were born here on July 19th, 2021. So they're about a year and one month, about the same age as the first pair of Surinams. And you can see the size. So. Um, this animal is probably intermediate between the two pairs of Surinams in terms of its size. Definitely a little less girthy than my first Surinam pair. Not quite as muscular. And although this animal might look small for a one-year-old boa, uh, she's put on a lot of growth. These baby Blungicatas are possibly my smallest boa as far as when they're born. They're even smaller than my Tara Humara boas. They're just little, little tiny things. I don't know, maybe about 15 inches. They're really small, not much bigger than many colubrids like king snakes or corn snakes when they're born. So she's actually put on quite a bit of length and doing quite well, just where I would expect for a one-year-old animal. Let me just zero out the scale here and we'll give her away being a little temperamental okay okay so she is 78 grams so a little bit smaller than the true red tails as far as the weight although her length is about the same so just not quite as girthy a little bit more elongated not quite as muscular as the true red tails but really nice body shape next we have a full sibling litter mate male longicata from the same litter as the female. And he looks like he's about the same size as the female. So let's give him away. Okay, so he's 115 grams. So a little bit bigger than the female, um, but they both have a nice body shape. So I'm not concerned about them. They're both doing really well. And you know we'll see how they grow for the next year. One more holdback pair of non red tail boas to weigh. This is a Honduran fire belly boa. And so this animal is representative of Central American boas, which in general are going to grow faster than the true red tails, but not get to the same sizes as adults. And this female is just gorgeous looking animal. Just uh, really love the pattern and color on this one. Although she is a little nippy, so hopefully I'm not going to lose any blood doing this. But let's put her on the scale. Give it a second to settle. Okay, she, she is 128 grams under and fire belly female, one year old. 
The last bow I'm going to weigh today is a male full sibling litter mate to the female I just showed you, Honduran Firebelly Boa. Forgot to mention they were born on June 24th of 2021, so about a year and two months. And this guy is just gorgeous. He's just got, you can see half of his body is like patternless with no saddles and he's got this beautiful, almost like a metallic sheen to him, kind of like a bronzy luster. And you know, you can see the fire belly starting there, which is going to get more intense in the color as he gets bigger. Also love the uh, intense big orange eyes. These guys have such cool eyes and they've got these really neat kind of stumpy little heads that are kind of muscular looking. Just a really cool locality boa from Honduras. And let's give him, well, let me zero it out here. It's not zero. Okay, oops. It's being a little finicky. Okay, we're zeroed and there's the boa on the scale. Okay, it's moving a bit. Okay, settled. Okay, he is 152 grams, this male Honduran Firebelly Boa. So about the same as the female. So you saw that these non-true red tails in general are a little bit smaller as far as the weight compared to the true red tails. Although as far as the length, they're about the same. And we also saw that between the two bloodlines of the true red tails, there's quite a bit of difference. They're all nicely sized animals for one year old. So, you know, the point of this video is don't stress about your animal as long as he's eating regularly and growing uh, slowly but steadily. He's probably, he or she is probably doing just fine. Okay, and it, you know, typically takes anywhere from three to five or even six years to reach breeding size for most locality boas. So I hope this video was helpful and I expect to make, be making similar videos in the future of looking at boas of different size or, or different ages and the size and weighing them just, you know, so people can see what's typical growth rate for different locality boas. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out to me. Thanks for watching and enjoy your boas.